what's going on guys welcome back to another video on mr junior dev and today i'm going to walk you through a finance app that i recently built for harvard cs50 it is problem set 9 so yeah guys uh, basically i built this app using python in conjunction with running flask and a sql database so basically i created tables within the sql database and uh, yeah in conjunction with python built this app so without further ado guys i want to quickly show you how the app works and the basic functionality and yeah basically let's get straight into it all right guys so i'm gonna head over to my cs50 ide i'm within my cs50 ide basically it's an online um, ide so independent development environment for those of you that don't know and it's similar to visual studio code it's just an online ide i think you guys know you should know by now I'm, well some people don't know so let me not be um, discriminatory towards others and basically yeah i've got all my folders i've already completed my cs50 for quite some time back and uh, basically i've got all my folders here and if i head over to the finance folder i've got subfolders called static and templates and then i've got external folders eight that are within finance still but it's app.py finance.db which is the sql database if you don't know the SQL SQL database, uh, here's an example. I'll just quickly click on it. It looks like this. This is the SQL database. And basically, yeah, if I head over to users, it will show you all the registered users and emails that have re registered within the app. So it keeps track of all this data. And uh, the tables that I've created within um, SQL are within the app. Um, in synchronization within the app so yeah then i've got uh files like the main file app uh, app.py and then i've got helpers.py uh, basically this is for requests uh server side rendering uh yeah passing all of that and terminal errors so yeah this is just the helpers file all right so firstly I'm going to head over to iex.cloud.io or iexcloud.io head, head over to my console i've already registered um, as an individual user uh, i highly recommend that you register as an individual user because if you go for the business account you must most likely going to pay but there's also yeah you when you register head right to the bottom of the page where it says free trial um yeah so right here i've got my api key i'm just going to copy that i've already um as you can see obviously registered so this is my free api key that i can use for now and if i head over to back to my cs50 ide i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to quickly export my api key which is the exact same key that i had yeah I just want to quickly show you guys i'm going to control uh, i'm going to paste it and there you go there you guys can see it's exactly the same key that i used previously i'm going to press enter and then i'm going to run python just in case app.py i don't think it's necessary but i'm just going to do it in any way just to make sure that there's no errors um, and then i'm going to run flask their flask is running uh, there's apparently some error within python ap it's probably an error within my own database or within my own virtual environment uh, you're supposed to create a virtual environment beforehand so that it can run efficiently um, but on flask it actually shows you how to do that uh, the flask documentation i found the flask documentation a bit technical but like yeah I'll, I, I guess over time i'll get to that level i'm trying to get there as quickly as possible and uh, yeah yeah i just have to push myself further 
as you guys know i'm still a junior developer so yeah i'm gonna quickly uh, click on the terminal link over here and it's gonna open up in a new tab oh there's an error why is that yeah the reason for the error is because the reason for the error is because i'm not within the file directory that's the reason for the error so i'm just going to cd into my file directory Oh, I'm just going to move into my file directory. Okay, there I'm within my file directory. I'm going to quickly export the API key. And then I'm going to go ahead, run the Python app. And I'm going to quickly run Flask. Uh, restarting stat with stat, that's it. And then I'm going to open the terminal link within the new terminal. And there's my application. Uh, as I said, I've already registered, so I'm not going to even bother showing you guys how to register and all of that. You guys, I'm sure you guys have done that on many different websites. Um, so I'm just going to quickly log in with my email that I've already registered with. And I'm going to quickly put in my password. I think it's the right one. Yeah. As you can see, this is my basic portfolio within my basic finance app. There is very little functionality to this app. Uh, so it's just a basic app um, in conjunction with Python and Flask. And uh, yeah, yeah, basically, here's the quote table, the buy table. Uh, you can put in your symbol, your sh the amount of shares and buy, and then your sell table. Put in a symbol, put in the amount of shares you would like, and you can sell it. And then, obviously, the history. It's asking me to log in. Let me quickly log in again. All right, there I've logged in. Uh, as you can see, that's my portfolio cash, $10,000. So I'm going to log it out. I just wanted to show you guys um my project that I, my project build for cs50 so this is the basic finance app uh, with python flask and the sql database and uh, yeah guys that's basically it and if you want to register with ix ix cloud you guys can go can go again go ahead and then uh, yeah, I've got a link in the description below. I'll also have a link in the description below for the all the source code for this particular uh, finance app. Uh, I'll link it to my GitHub account. So yeah, if you guys would like to use it for something, you guys can go ahead and just um, yeah head over to my GitHub account. No problems. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to show you um this is just a very basic finance app very little functionality but yeah i just wanted to show you guys how it works and yeah i think it's pretty awesome i hope you guys found this video intriguing and enlightening and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out